Hey guys, and welcome back after a brief Christmas break. Hope you had a good Christmas. I hope your most recent Christmas was a good one, if you're watching this from the future, and it's nowhere near Christmas. But uh, in this one, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit up a Ulysseal. My girl. Um, anyways, I was playing around with hit, with uh, hitting this and trying to lure these guys over. Really no way to get them as far as I could tell. But if you just hit the bottom step there, then they'll, they'll come over to you. Combustion can't quite kill them in one shot yet. It leaves them with just a sliver of health, as you can see there. Those guys, as you can see, I, I have my uh, my gold serpent ring on and a humanity uh, in the top left there. Because I want to get large shards from these guys. These guys are actually the best current way to farm large shards. Uh, you can see I believe I got two on that last guy. Uh, I'll get two again from another one right up here. So these guys are a fantastic source. Kill six of them and get four shards. That is a very good ratio for having not even ten humanity with a max item find. There's this one. Oh, get it, get it, get it! There you go. <laughs> so there's the two more. So these guys, not a, not a huge threat, actually. Uh, you can block all their stuff pretty easily. Uh, I'm going up here to fight this guy because I don't want to risk falling off. Leap attacks are effective because it kills him in one hit. And I don't want to leap and get bumped off the edge or something like that. These guys are simple enough. You don't really want to block their sorceries. Mostly what you want to do. And uh, yeah, you can kill that ambush through the wall. Mostly what you want to do is roll under their sorceries. You can just wait behind a wall and they'll keep casting at the wall. And you can wait for them to laugh. And that's a good time to charge them. Their laugh takes up like three seconds. So you have a lot of time to get to them before they're ready to attack at all. And so right here, uh, I was thinking about whether or not to fight Marvelous Chester right now, and I decided to go for it. And so here he is. Switch over to two hand for the backstab. NPC invasions are very easy to backstab. And Chester's not super challenging. That kick is actually really good, really awesome. But he is poiseless, so he's really easy to stun with this club. And uh, a couple hits after the backstab, and he's done for. Get a couple souls. Doesn't drop anything, unfortunately. I like to deal with this guy just by dropping off here. You could also just kick him off if you go around the normal way. Or just smack him. Again, they're not very hard. They're also easy to circle around and backstab. Miss. <laughs> Whoops. Don't mind that. Those guys not very strong. Uh, a two-handed weak attack will kill them. Going into this room, I have 20 flasks, and so... You might as well top off your health here, because see how close that brought me to dying? Yeah, if you got uh, some flasks left over, I'd go ahead and top off your health. But yeah, kind of messing up the roll timing there. I like to just charge the first one as quick as I can. You do not want to fight two at once. Again, you could kind of just wait behind a wall, wait for at least one of them to laugh. That way you don't have to worry about getting hit from the sides by one you're not looking at. Dark Orb here, can't use it, but again, just, you know, it's a good idea to grab things, because who knows what we'll do with this build eventually. You know, you probably aren't going to keep it at full level 1 forever. When you get tired of SL1, you can kind of turn it into whatever you want, so. And so, we're going through Ulysseal as a means to complete this build. 
there's the uh, talking stones that are a lot of fun to use in PvP. So we're still focusing on completing the build, not necessarily completing the game. Because completing the game is obviously something you primarily want to do after you've had your fun with Soul Level 1 uh, and you're looking for an even greater challenge going into New Game Plus. Uh, unfortunately, you don't have any light items right here. I was just double checking to make sure, but no, we'll, we'll need to grab a, a Skull Lantern probably. Actually, we are going to grab the, um, the Sunlight Maggot, so we could use that later as well. But not a huge deal. Don't really plan on fighting Manus just yet. Manus is one of the hardest bosses in the game. And so a lot of players, I'm sure, are going to want to have their stuff pretty well upgraded. Uh, I think this armor is still plus five or something at this point. So here's the mimic that we're going to get our other Taki stone from. I, well, it's not really stones, it's uh, wood carvings. But combustions, I like to use combustions on mimics, doesn't really give them a chance to attack. You can just spam it real quick on them. Lure this guy around. Leap attacks are super useful for close quarters like that. Using a regular attack uh, on the right swing... I'd probably hit the wall, and I might not even hit him at all, but jumping attacks don't bounce off walls. And uh, accidentally got into view here, but it's all good. Yeah, that's that laugh that's that opens up their attack window. Went for a leap, hit me out, because I'm not wearing the wolf ring. That's one thing the wolf ring is good for, for sure. The, the primary thing, really, is making sure your attacks don't get interrupted like that. If I was wearing the wolf ring, I would have just continued to smash him. Just taking a look at the scenery there. When you get to this part, just run real quick and just smash this guy right through the wall. Yeah, as you can see, really easy to circle around. And there's going to be one last guy who's going to drop down from above here. Now, these guys down here, the best way to deal with them is to get a running jump and do this attack. Now, I missed the sorcerer. And the sorcerer is the one you're really aiming for. You don't want to get screwed up by some close range uh, dark sorceries. But look at this guy jumping all over the place. I just barely miss him with the range. Look at him. Look at him trolling me here. Look at that. What a jerk these guys. So I'm like, alright, you want to be a jerk? I can, I can play that game. Get out my crossbow. I'll just, I'll just hit you before you can cast. Interrupt your cast. Oh uh, yeah, take this asshole. Oh shit! Uh, he was waiting for me with the cast ready. That asshole. <laughs> I actually didn't have any bolts equipped either. <laughs> so that was kind of a disaster. But man, he was he was being mean. So go for it again, jump a little sooner, land the hit on him. I could just fight this guy, but I want to make sure I get my humanity and my souls back. I had quite a bit. Now, these guys I like to aggro one at a time. There's also a sorcerer up top there that if you get too close, he'll start shooting at you. He might even jump down and chase you. So, bad idea to get close. I could have used the bow technique here, but I wanted to show you could actually kind of do this uh, without it. The best way to do this without using the bow trick, the best way to free aim a crossbow is just walk straight at your target. And uh, there's a soul of a, um, a hero there, I believe it was. But just walk straight at them and point the camera straight at them. And that's a pretty good way to aim it. You'll hit them a lot of the time that way. But with these guys down, we're going to head up this right passage here. Watch out for that sorcerer. He will fire at you still. Yeah, you, did you hear that right there? He actually did shoot something at me.
So make our way up here. It's gonna be one more of these guys. It's interesting how they're like sleeping. All these guys are like sleeping until you get here. With their arms crossed like that. That's testing out if you could hit this guy in any way. I don't think so. Those windows might actually just be solid. Although I have to wonder if like Fire Tempest could make it through there. Something to think about. Now uh, through this wall there's a red chunk. But you can leap to that far board actually and get to that chest, that board right there. You can leap to that. You can jump it. It's a little tricky, so I, I didn't I didn't really go for it. But uh, you can do it that way without having an item to open the secret passage. There's a guy through this wall. I was seeing if I could reach him. But no, it's a little little too thick. Some longer range weapons like uh, a lot of spears. The Moonlight Butterfly Horn for sure can make it through there. And here's another Mimic, which you can tell by the chain on him. It goes in front of the chest, that's how you know it's a Mimic. But again, hit him with the Combustions and doesn't have a chance to really attack. We're going to need that key to get to Hawkeye Go, who will give us the rest of the wood carvings. You can jump down there to get the uh, black, uh, black Fog Pyromancy, which causes, um, I believe it actually causes bleed. I've never really used it. Uh, you know, those, those fog types aren't really good. And if you're going to use one, you might as well use the toxic one. So I didn't even bother. At this point, I just didn't want to risk uh, getting killed by that sorcerer. And so this opens up the shortcut that we're going to want to use. And so I took that shortcut. I took the opportunity here. Uh, those guys are rolling around for some reason. But I took this opportunity to get my Pyromancy Flame all the way up to plus 5, so now we can one-shot those guys with Pyromancies. And while we were still by the bonfire, we're going to go and get um, Nightblade Cure in here. She's pretty simple to fight. She just kind of rolls around. She doesn't have a shield. You can get a leap attack off really easy when she's recovering. She bounces off your shield. Opens herself up to backstabs pretty frequently. So just circle strafe her, keep your shield up, and she'll open up uh, pretty easily for you to get her. And uh, you never know, could use her armor set. Can't really use her weapons. But, um, again, who knows what we'll do with this build eventually. And so, while we're here, we're also going to uh, run up to Hawkeye Go. Who is probably my favorite character. Who, for some reason, sells dung pies. <laughs> he's been collecting them while he's been imprisoned up here. It's, uh, it's kind of nasty. Spent the rest on some large shards, because, again, I, I want those right now get my armor upgraded just homeward bone back I love homeward bones I use them so frivol frivolously so that's why I like to get 99 of them and uh, so get get our stuff upgraded and head on back down this is a good way to farm these guys Just run up to him, get the great combustion off. You can group them into the groups of two. Nice and easy. So we're going to use the bow trick here to lure some of these guys down. You don't want to hit the sorcerers because they'll actually shoot at you from here. Uh, they can shoot a very long way. So take care of the one you can see easily. Get a large shard, very nice. And here I am going to switch back because we're getting to the end of this segment anyways. There's two more of these guys. And uh, I thought the angle looked right for an attack here. That's an ambush waiting for you. 
But if you get it just right, you actually can get the hit here. Took me a little tweaking to do, but yeah, eventually got it. So these guys will come towards you, don't have to worry about engaging the sorcerers yet. Just go for the backstab. Nice and easy. Now these sorcerers, fighting two of them in a big open area like this can be kind of tricky. This is going to be a situation where you're going to want to wait for at least one of them to laugh at you. These guys, again, really trolling me here. I'm going up to attack and he leaps back. Those jerks. So I'm like, alright, let's get the flame out. These guys are asking for it. And miss the combustion, get hit. So, yeah, these guys can be kind of tricky. Uh, I'm not really waiting for the laugh opportunity, which I really should be. But I saw the opportunity with them clumped together, and boom. Great Combustion's pretty good for killing multiple targets at the same time. And here we're going to find the Chained Prisoner. This guy... You could fight him if you want. He can be kind of dangerous. But shouldn't be too much of a challenge if you do want to fight him. I prefer to just lure him out and run past him. You'll want to lure him out a bit of a ways. Because there is a elevator around this corner that we have to wait for. And so we do not want him catching up to us. You can take a step off it while it's still coming up like that to stun that guy so he won't attack you. Follow up with a great combustion. That's the quickest way to get down there and not risk the trained pri uh, chained prisoner catching up to you. And so, gonna head into the abyss, we're gonna grab Black Flame, which is actually the best combustion type spell. I equipped the uh, Serpent Ring again here, because you always want to equip that before attacking a Crystal Lizard. It increases the chance of getting something besides Twinkling Titanite, such as a slab, is always nice. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Dark Bead over here, just for the heck of it. So, here's how you're gonna want to do it. Uh, you can see their little eyes in the dark here. Uh, hopefully this will show up on YouTube. YouTube tends to make videos a little darker. I forgot to boost up the gamma, so sorry if you can't really see here. But you can see the little red eyes in the darkness. So just use the bow trick and the crossbow to lure them over. This one I was having a little bit of trouble with. But lure them over and add them to the pile. You can get some goodies there. There's actually one more left that I didn't see. And I was making a nice little pile of bodies here, so I lured them all the way back over. It's a nice little, nice little pile. And with those guys taken care of, all we need to do is take out the one sorcerer, so not a huge problem. Again, with the trolling. You can't escape my combustions. This guy's waiting to ambush you. You can do a drop attack on him. I kind of missed there. But it's all good. You actually want to save your flasks for this part. Uh, avoid healing if you can. Just because we're going to fight some of these humanity enemies. And they can... It's pretty easy to get hit by them since they bypass your shield and everything. So 
So here's these guys. Combustions, I would recommend for fighting them. Being kind of careless with the leap attack there. And I'm actually going to throw on my Serpent Ring because these guys drop humanity like crazy. And so these guys are actually the best way to farm hard humanity. Humanity you can keep in your inventory for special occasions. A little too early on that one. The trick with these guys is that they're very... They're very dodgy. They'll like move forward and then move sideways and back like very randomly so it can be hard to guess where they're going. But the trick is just to keep your distance, stay conservative. You know, I'd rather miss than get too close and get incinerated by these guys, digested or whatever they do. These guys actually do also degrade your armor and your weapon pretty quickly. So if your uh, weapon's getting a little low, you might want to check it at the bonfire nearby and repair it if it's getting a little low. And so before, before heading in there, I'm actually going to send that elevator up. That elevator is a shortcut that connects to the area outside of Artorius before you fight him the area with Chester and all that. And so again, just showing you guys kind of how to be a little more cautious here. But uh, you guys probably start to get the idea at this point, so I'm going to start speeding it up here. But yeah, leap attack's a little risky, gain a little too much ground. Mostly just going to want a two-hand, do weak attacks, and try to keep your distance. As you can see, I'm, I'm running out of Estus here. So uh, we'll speed things along. Still uh, taking some hits. So now I'm actually out of uh, Estus and Combustions here. I could run up and, you know, heal. I'm, I'm throwing some knives at this guy. And it's kind of cool how it, like, obliterates the knives on him and vaporizes them. It's kind of a cool effect, cool attention to detail. So being extra cautious now that I don't have any more Estus, and so you can be cautious and, and avoid getting hit by those guys. Those two big ones didn't hit me at all. And so by doing this, we allow Sif to be summoned at the boss fight for this area. He's not super useful or anything, but a good option to have. And so head along the left on this cliff here, and now I'm actually... Since I'm out of Estus, I'm going to start using Humanity to heal. I like having Humanity for the extra defense and item find, and I get so many from these guys that it's worth it to just pop some Humanities if you're fighting these guys and are taking some hits. So go ahead and follow this path down. There's just going to be a couple of these guys here. And at the end of this, we're going to get what we are looking for. The Black Flame. So, again, this is the best combustion type. Watch out for guys dropping down from above. But after that, you can uh, go ahead and Homeward Bone out. And so, I'm going to call it here for now. The next part is actually going to focus on all things fire. Getting our fire weapon, getting some pyromancies and uh, taking out some fire themed areas and so it's gonna be a lot of fun here finish out this build uh, get moving along with it and I'll see you guys next time as always if you want to support the series uh, like and favorite but uh, see ya